Hello, I'm Jono, and I built an automated grow system inside this shed. I spent a lot of time on this project, but before it looked like this, it looked like this. Just a little blank plot of land with a bunch of leaves and dirt. But I had a vision for this plot of land. I laid down some fresh dirt to even it out and put some big stone tiles to have some nice firm surfaces to work on. And then here is where I made my first mistake. My monkey brain thought it would be a good idea to build the shed out of PVC pipe and flimsy tarp. Boom, check out them dimensions though. Yeah, anyone with more than three brain cells could probably tell where this is going. I have to recruit some child labor too. Excellent. You'd think I would have learned in preschool when we did the three piggy opera. Dang. Anyway, wasted a bunch of time and effort and uh, resources with this one. Failures aside, I made something I'm pretty proud of, so stick around. As you could have probably guessed by now, the weather made short work of this. I tried rebuilding it like five times, even had screws into the joints, but nothing kept it up. I even used an arrow to prop up the tarp for rainfall, but yeah. I thought I was being innovative, but I was just reinventing disappointment. Anyway, this was my final attempt. It's beautiful. And while I waited for that to fall apart, I got started on the software and hardware and stuff. I made the wiring as nice as possible on a brand new breadboard so that everything would connect well. I don't want to make a PCB quite yet with this prototype. Here I eloquently decided to change my mind and replace those two wires with one wire. Wow. The wiring and testing was going much more smoothly than the uh, physical part. Everything was working the way I wanted it to, and before long, I had this little board. Project. Working on. Speaking of board, here's uh, the code. And I think uh, past me has a good little explanation here. Right here, we got the temperature and humidity displayed coming from this sensor right here. So, and then it goes to here, and then once it reaches a certain temperature, I set it for 77, so like if I warm this up, put my hand over it, to warm it up, the fan turns on, so the fan turns on, and it will turn back off once it gets below the certain temperature and that's connected through here and then we have the soil moisture sensor right here and to check the value of the soil moistures we'll click this button And then we got the soil moisture value right there. So if I like hold it, it changes. And then I want to go back, just press the button. Oh, no. Basically reinventing the light bulb. The last thing I had to do on this side of things was splice a bunch of wires and uh, hook them up to a bunch of relays. So everything was basically operational, but I still had nowhere to house everything. But that's when I found this shed for $80. How about you, you bitch? You make that deal? I make that deal. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. And just like that, I threw everything together and it was ready to go. Are you tired of watering your plants every single day? Your plants keep dying because you're too lazy, busy, or just bad at gardening? Are you sick of putting your fingers in dirt? 
Well, if so, have I got the product for you. Wow! Introducing the automated grow system. Because sometimes the plants should work harder than you do. I've set the conditions for my basil plants to grow nice and strong. Now I can finally have fresh basil without lifting a finger. All you have to do is refill these two buckets when they get low. One refills the humidifier and the other fills up the plants. Wow! Alright, but here's how it actually works. I ended up switching to an Arduino Mega, mostly because I ran out of pins and patience. It's the brains of this whole system. Everything talks through it. You tell it what to do and it tells other things what to do. I spray painted this square piece of wood to use as my control panel and mounted all the electronics on it. It's not pretty, but it keeps things from dangling everywhere. Well, mostly. I also spray painted the inside of the shed this reflective silver color to help bounce the light around. In theory, it should help plants grow faster in practice, these cheap lights could probably barely keep a succulent alive. Speaking of lights, they were just on simple outlet timers, so I had to manually set the light cycles at first, but once they were dialed, they are basically automatic. In the code, I set all the environmental limits, so unfortunately, if you change the plant, you have to go into the code and change all the thresholds yourself. This little blue sensor is a DHT11, it tracks the temperature and humidity. And these resistive soil moisture sensors that apparently corrode sit in the soil and measure how dry it's getting. If they drop below the threshold, the relays activate for the pumps and water them until they're good. And the same system applies to the heater and the fan and the humidifier. The relays are basically just switches. They take an input from the sensors through the Arduino Mega and decide which devices to turn on or off. So everything here talks to everything else. Not super fast, not super clean, but it works. The shed kind of keeps itself alive. And for a prototype, that's really all I needed. And this was the final version of the code. Maybe not the most elegant, but it worked. At least most of the time. This whole project was actually a professional project. One of the three through my engineering fraternity. Each group presented their projects at our end of the year expo. Um, so I presented my board wiring sensors fan, but not the shed. I could not bring that on campus. I also made a short video for the expo, sort of like this, to show everybody the actual shed, and it went great. And our fraternity was the one who sponsored these projects, in case you were wondering how I got the funds for this. Is it clean and organized? No. Is it practical? No. Efficient? Not really. Dangerous? Maybe. Does it work for long periods of time? Uh, to be determined. But does it work? Yes. Yes, it does. And that gave me the confidence to keep on going, this time with a small team of three. We're rebuilding the entire system from the ground up to make it presentable, efficient, and actually practical. We got some big plans, and from here, it's just a matter of better planning, better organization, better sensors, and honestly, 
a little bit more effort. Making this prototype taught me that getting something to work even badly is the hardest part. Once it works though, you can make it better as much as you want. And that's exactly what I plan to do. I've also learned a ton of helpful skills since making this prototype that I'm excited to apply. Stay tuned for June, you won't regret it. This was the automated grow system prototype. I'll see y'all in the next project. Jono signing out.